Chapter 42. Commit Message Structure Writing good commit messages in Git is a bit of an art. Some people have strong feelings on the matter. Others see the commit message as a nuisance and put in whatever just to make Git happy. There have been efforts to create rules for commit messages that people should adhere to, such as the conventional commits specification, which you can read about at conventionalcommits.org. But, at the end of the day, how you write your commit messages depends a lot of context. Is it a project you work alone on, do you work together with others, and so on. However, one thing that you should know about is how Git treats different parts of the commit message differently and how that impacts how you should write the commit message. You see, each time Git launches an editor to write a commit message, that commit message is potentially made up of two parts. The first line, which should be followed by an empty line, and then the rest of the message. The first line should be short and should hold a terse summary of why the commit was made. Then you can add more info by leaving a blank line followed by a lengthy message going into the fine details of the how, what, why of your commit. You don't have to do this. If one line is all you need, then that's fine. Just keep in mind that if you want to provide more info, you should split it up between a terse summary on the first line and then the rest of the info starting from line 3.